Captain Disaster, Jack, as a million stopping it. Hello, fellow weirdos. We are back at Captain Disaster. Once again, I am recording this commentary way, way after the gameplay because I am a doofus and I bumped my mic button when I was recording the original commentary and I muted it, so there is that. I know that in this episode we are going to spend some quality time with Grandma's space uh, chest. And uh, one bit that I cut out from previous episode was when we uh, went to the shower room and pilfered the soap. There's nothing more to say. So basically, we've been we've been tasked. The escape pod is empty. It didn't work. I don't think that will work. We've been tasked with uh, attaching something to the chest that um, uh, that functions as a beacon I'm really not sure what I can do with that not right now I think I'm just double checking the room to see if I I can't it's broken I missed anything I do have all the items that I need I don't know how to use these things together. Now, when it comes to the chest situation, I don't know how to. Uh, I don't know how to use these. We we will soon run into one of the one of the points where. Uh, it slipped uh -huh. right in, but it's very snug. It will be hard to remove. Yay! This leads us to a situation where I felt that the game did not communicate the goal well. The marshmallow brick fits snugly into the empty bottle. The marshmallow will expand in the vacuum of space. It's the only experiment I paid attention to in Mr. <laughs> Poppenheimer's science class because... Mm, <laughs> marshmallows. Right, so basically we have resolved the beacon situation. I don't know how to use However, these... However, at the moment I do not know this. I don't know how to use these things. So, uh, the, the task that we've been given is to attach a beacon to the to the chest, and that my only means of communicating. And that situation is resolved. However, Captain calling zero bit. Go ahead, Captain. How can I return the? You could post it. <laughs> no, zero. Okay, use the transporter pad like I told you. Yeah, that didn't help. So yes, uh, we we have resolved the beacon situation, but the game does not communicate that this part is now the done. The marshmallow would expand in the vacuum of space. It's the only experiment. Mm. At the same time, the it's the only. Ex mm. At the same time, it's a small port for holding a beacon. And without a beacon, the space trunk would be lost in the infinite vacuum of space. Yes, we. Maybe I could attach an item that would expand in the vacuum. Yeah, so so Captain will it's my grandmother's when she will still waffle on about the beacon and the expansion of marshmallows at the same time. That doesn't seem right. Or just figure out the control. At the same time what was actually missing from the chest was something to hold the latch Except together. It would appear that the transporter controls were also damaged in the asteroid strike. Yes. It's not worth These controls are different than <laughs> That's easy to mess up. Shame about the manual, really. It would be a real shame if something happened to this manual. Captain calling zero bits. Go ahead, Captain. So, the transporter pad is broken too. How can I return the contraband detector? Did I not mention that there was a chance the pad might also be out of order? No, no. No, no you did not. Well, you could eject the detector into space and let the ground control zero in on it. 
Too bad it's too small for their scanners and too fragile to survive in the vacuum of space. It's definitely not. Any ideas? Well, you need to find a way to get it off the ship and put it into something sturdy and attach a beacon or flare of some kind. That was sort of helpful. Thanks. I aim <laughs> to please. Right, so my, my issue with the chest quest is that uh, when the beacon situation is actually resolved, the chest, it's my grandmother's the chest situation as a whole I is not resolved. Work. But there is, at this point, there I is no indication that. Uh, really sh shut up, Captain. Uh, at this indication, there is no indicate. At this point, <laughs> uh, nothing indicated explicitly that you also need to do something with the latch or the seal or whatever it's called. That doesn't need to be straight gold. So even even though when you first open the chest, Captain remarks that, oh, now I've broken the seal, it is never explicitly treated as a uh, as something you need to uh, need to resolve in any way. So right now I am going to uh, waffle on for like I think some good twenty minutes. I don't know how to use these things together. Trying to add to the beacon. And eventually I will go and look I into the walkthrough and only then will I know that I ha actually have to do I something with the, with the latch seal, whatever. I so, I, I will cut out some, some parts from this. Yeah, so I have reached the rub everything against everything phase here. Radiation levels appear to Now comes the cutting part, and we shall resume soon. So, for a change, I am checking the engine room or transport room. It's not working I'm at the going moment. To poke at everything uh, and to troll the broom alien. Transporter pad is now covered in dust. I, di I didn't do it to achieve anything, just to just to be mean. <laughs> uh, hello. It doesn't feel. Now I will go and poke at the engine or whatever it is, the thingy. I'll fill the cup a with dust. Any supply of dust on me at any time, just in case. After all I've been through to get the engine running, I'm not going to turn it off again. <laughs> I'll leave it here. It's not working at the moment. So yeah, in this in this phase of the investigation, my only means I of communicating. Point one. Disaster area to act you as one ground control. Where's the contraband detector? We're getting ready to send it soon. Well, if you take too long, we'll be sending some Exelon class homing missiles your way, you imbecile. <laughs> Motivating. So yes, uh, on I am at this point A rubbing everything against everything and point B. The escape pod is empty. Work. Uh, going literally everywhere in the ship and examining everything. I don't think that will work. Because on one hand I'm paranoid that I have missed something and and on the other hand I suspect I that I maybe there is some really obscure solution. I wish I could I'm going to I uh, haven't no reason to stop. <laughs> I'd Aww. better leave it alone. I've long forgotten what it. I don't have a use. He's been on a strict. Okay, I will leave the captain to explore. So at 
this point I've reloaded the game because Most uh, break, if it snuck the into the empty bottle. Because I wondered if the order of things Most mattered. Break, he shoved tightly into the bottom of the bottle. I remember a lab experiment at the academy. Of course. I and even though the bottle cap is visible in my inventory, I think I only thought of it in terms of the beacon. I tried to shove it into the beacon slot and, and that didn't work and that's why I, uh, I never even examined it afterwards. Oh, and... Um, right. Well, just figure out the controls. <laughs> Right. So, in terms of uh, how I would uh, how I would change, except it would appear that the transporter controls were also damaged in the asteroid strike. So, uh, when it comes to uh, how I would tweak uh, this uh, obstacle or this this task, Captain, calling zero bits. Go God. ahead, Captain. Guys, so the you were did I not no. Well, too bad it's too small for their scanners and too fragile. Any idea? Well. You need to find a way to get oh, it off the I ship and put right, it in right, something right. sturdy and attach a beacon or flare of some kind. That was... I ain't... Right, so, uh, speaking of... That doesn't seem what, to work. Uh, what I would These change panels are high so that... Shut up, Captain! What I would change so that uh, the... So that the... I'll uh, fill the cup with dust. <laughs> yeah, you do that. What was I talking about? I don't about? know how to use these things. To what I would change to uh, make the, lead, the bottle uh, chest uh, task uh, more efficiently communicated. Once the beacon is attached, I don't know how. Uh, I would I would add an audio line that goes something like, "Well, we've got a beacon now, except I need to." I need to steal the chest somehow. So basically, uh, spell it out that the I chest how to needs to be uh, needs something else to be done to it. And if I'm not mistaken, I I will not figure it out on my own until the end of this episode. It's a small port for holding a beacon. Without a beacon, the space trunk would be lost in the infinite vacuum of space. Maybe I could attach an item that would expand in the yes. vacuum. Yes. It slipped right in, but it's very snug. It will be hard to remove. The marshmallow will expand in. It's the only experiment of mm, marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. So around here, I would I would add the bet that. I don't know how. Too bad that the oh, chest will so pop right see. open. It's my grandmother's when she used to run out of room. Yes, ruin. yes. So any anything, anything to uh, direct the user's uh, attention to the to the idea that uh, something else needs to be done with the chest. It doesn't seem to have a standard bottle cap. The magnetic field isn't picking. The magnetic field is. The magnetic field. The magnetic. The magnet. The magnetic field isn't picking. The magnetic. The magnet. The mag. The magnet. So essentially, what I'm trying to do radiation with all the environment here right radiation. now is, uh, I keep radiation. thinking that radiation. the marshmallow contraption needs something else added to it, and so I'm trying to either add some radioactive dust to it, or you know, some something that would be picked up on the radar. So basically, everything that I'm doing trunk. here. When she used to run out of room in her attic, uh, she would eject it into space. 
uh, everything that I'm doing revolves around I don't know how the beacon concept. So even when I'm poking at the bottle cap, I'm still thinking in terms of the beacon. The ship has a downstairs, but no actual stairs. Ergo, I have a lift. If I was an American, I'd have an elevator. So sometimes it's past here. I have continued poking everything with everything, still in search of adding to the beacon. And at this point, I am starting to realize that there might be something that I'm just not seeing. So, I don't know how to use after these trying to fatten up Seymour, he's been on a strict diet since the incident. The incident. Uh, we're headed to the end of this episode here, after which I will very carefully peek at the walkthrough and discover that there I is the whole flash situation. I've long forgotten what <laughs> it does. So, from voice from the future, I will, I will leave the captain to it I and I will see you them. in no the next episode now. as well. I'm not going to clear. Yeah. Let's let's just leave him there. Bye. I'm never going just in case.